Hi, everybody. My name is Nick Justician. I teach virtual production at Drexel University. And just the other day, I posted this tutorial about hiding character accessories using constraints in Unreal 5. And I thought I was being really clever. I was like baking the animation to the FK control rig and then grabbing joints using that and constraints and hiding everything by moving stuff off frame and, you know, Again, thinking I was really clever. Uh, within hours, uh, this great tip came in from user at NASA 0777. And he says, uh, you know, you could just zero out the scale of those joints and make them disappear. And I'm just like smacking myself in the head. Uh, absolutely correct. This is so brilliant. It's so simple. Uh, what an elegant solution. And so, of course, I have to create a follow-up and, and show how to do that. And um, along the way, as I was getting ready to do that, I realized I actually don't need to do it in sequencer at all. Instead, this could be put into an animation blueprint for the character. And that makes it tremendously reusable and it makes it faster and so uh, i figured well you know what let's just do this follow-up video and um and show it how to do this much faster with a blueprint and i will link in the description to the old video if you want to see it but i advise against it in the old video i'll probably even i might even just unlist it so that uh people don't accidentally find it uh but you know they can go check it out if they want to so uh let's create this animation blueprint to hide all this stuff and so i'm going to go to the content Content browser and this is uh, where the skeletal mesh for this character exists and so with that skeletal mesh I'll just right click and create an animation blueprint for it and I'll call this narbash after the character name underscore no drums and finally underscore uh, nmvp Okay, control S to save it, double click to open it. So what we want to do is get the input animations. And uh, then after they come in, we want to just zero out the scale for some of the joints that govern the um, the drums and, and the weapons. So let's just do that with this animation blueprint. So we start with that input animation where um, we get the input pose from, from external to this blueprint. And that always comes in through this default slot. And to bring that into the, the blueprint itself, we'll just right click and type in default slot. And there we go, here's the uh, slot, default slot. And so this is our incoming animation. And once we get that incoming animation, we want to alter the scale of individual joints. So I'm going to create a node here that is um, bone transform, yeah, transform modify bone. Okay. So with this node selected, you know, we can choose what bone we want to modify. In this case, it's going to be the drums. So uh, drum main, I'll pick that first. And I want to modify the scale. So it's really important we go in here to the scale mode change that from ignore to replace existing. And then here in the node itself, um, I can go ahead and, uh, whoops, sorry, uh, go into the scale and say zero, tab zero, tab zero. And so the this bone, the selected bone, drum main, is gonna get scaled down to zero uh, when this node gets processed. So I'll just take the output of the uh, incoming pose. Uh, this will automatically change that to local to component. And our output will come from the output of this. And we should be able to compile and boom, drums are gone. So we'll just take this and control D duplicate it and uh, control D duplicate again, because we have two more bones, the, the two weapons to take care of. So I will just select a uh, weapon. So we're clicking on drum main and typing in weapon and there's weapon left. And on this one, uh, weapon, weapon R for weapon right. And we'll take the output from our drum adjustment and connect it here. And we'll take the output of weapon left into weapon right. So each one of these will uh, execute in succession. So we get rid of the drums, we get rid of the, the left weapon, we get rid of the right weapon, and then we connect that to our uh, feed into the output and compile and we'll see both of these weapons also disappear. And so that takes care of creating the uh, blueprint. So I'll go ahead and save that and close it out. And then here is our skeletal mesh in the scene. So we can go into the details for that. And with uh, the animation mode, we just want to select use animation blueprint. And then we want to select our no drums blueprint. No drums. And there it is. Boom, they're gone. And sequencer. And now we get to play our animation and all those uh, pesky 
accessories are gone. So much easier, much faster, much more reusable. So hope this helps. Until next time, have fun.